G'day folks, Wayne from Land and Bay Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. Well, it's a bait fishing day today, but it's a little bit different. We're not just throwing the baits out on anchor and sitting and waiting and burling up. We're going to be active, just like as if we were lure fishing. So we're going to drift around and use the electric, one rod each. I'm throwing a completely unweighted bait and just letting it drift with the boat, keeping the line a little bit taut. I've got a, um, a 2.0 mustard long shank and half a pilly on at the moment. And Jordan's pretty much fishing the same way, but just with a fraction of weight, just a little tiny bit. We're in about a metre of water, so we're chasing anything on the flats. So I'm using these little black beads. When you haven't got a trace on, a swivel, I put the black bead there. It just stops the sinker going up, smashing into the, um, the leader knot. So that, that little black bead, you can buy them, I got them off eBay, I don't know what they're called, little black beads. And uh, that way the sinker can only travel that couple of feet up, keeps the bait close to the bottom and stops it destroying your knot. So I'm using a size O sinker now just because there's so much current. That little black rubber bead, I'm throwing on quite a substantial hook. It's a... Um, I think this is a 4.0 true turn. So I'm chasing either big brim or, or floody. And I've got a 15 pound, I've upgraded my, um, my leader now to 15 pound. So if I do hook up something substantial, I've got a chance to actually get it back to the boat. So that's the rig there, sinker on top of the, the hook with the little tiny black bead about a foot and a half, two feet up the leader just to prevent that sinker running back to the knot. Just baiting this pilly up. I'll start at the tail and go all the way through, leaving about a centimetre under the top of the tail. That was That's for my half hitch later. And you can either put it straight through like that and just curl it back up as a bit of a hidden hook if the bait's soft enough, and this bait is. Then do your half hitches at the top. And the actual bait, the weight of the bait will be up here at the half hitch and it won't sort of pull that hook out when you cast. Not that we're casting hard or far, we're fairly close to the structure, but uh, it sits nice and straight. It's very covert, you can't see much of that hook. And now with the sinker on, it'll get to the bottom where I want it to be. Zen, you know, just the calmness. Yeah. Well, a good out. fisherman wouldn't need to do that. Yeah, well, I come out fishing with you and that goes out the window, doesn't it? <laughs> Instant frustration. <laughs> <laughs> That would have been a big fish. <sighs> oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, 
from miles out, I think float lining. It's got head shapes. Keep the rod nice and low, keep this thing under the water. Good weight in it, but it is in current, so I probably shouldn't call that early. Okay, I'm going over the other side, mate. I'm just going to take spot lock off. Try and get back to it. Can you mommy put the light back on when we do catch up with it? It's just sitting here in the sand, mate. Chuck it on. That's a good fish, really. It is a good fish. Jump, jump down there for me, so I can go and follow. Wow, Jesus, just sitting in the current dictating terms. Oh, I'm going to have to earn a spot lock, I think. Yeah. <sighs> All I'm thinking is, please don't be a ray. <laughs> It has got head shakes, but who knows, it's going hard. Oh, big flatty! Stonker flatty. I mean, stonker flatty! This is the one we've been waiting for. Oh, come out from under the boat. Oh, it is a big girl. I'll work around you. You just keep normal. Spot lock again. This is an 80 centimeter fish, this thing. No, that's right. Good choice. <laughs> oh, at least I've seen it. Yeah, just work it. Just work it. Just work it. Oh, she's huge. Yeah, let her play you. She'll wear out soon enough. I can see her. Comes up, goes back down. She's gone again. My arm's oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, look at that. Big oh, it is huge. She's going in the green. Yeah. Yeah, well, would you? See if I can swim it in. <laughs> Lift that motor up. Right. Try again. Head first, head first, go head first. It's too big to go tail first, mate. What do you mean? It's too big to go tail first, right, it'll right, flip right, out. Right. I didn't realise how big it was. This is 
90 centimetre fish. Watch it, watch it, watch it back on the boat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to kill my leader. I'm going to cry if you lose this, so don't. Please don't. Go, 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 head first. Head first, pick it up, tar, pick it up. Get in the boat! Yes! Put it down, put it down! Put it down! Oh, I got it! That fish! Yeah! Oh, How good is that? How good is that? This is gonna go close to a meter. That is a beast. How good is that? I don't think it's a meter, oh, but it's, it's a good fish. Oh, that is just a oh, stonker fish. That is close. 80, that is close. 86. And that's why you bait fish. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it from me. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.